Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Imres Khan Ratin. Today I am going to show that how we can use a SQL transaction in our ASP.NET project. So first we are going to create a database. Open SQL Server. Test. Now I am going to take two tables. ID which is primary key. Parent name. Let's take another table for child. Child name, parent ID, this is foreign key, so child, let's create two store procedure for child class and parent class, so programmability, store procedure, new. Here I'm going to take my store procedure, which is for parent. Done. Let's take another store procedure for child class. Done. Let's create our project. Web, select web, ASP.NET web application. Example, select MVC. Let's create parent and child class. Okay. These parents will have multiple childs, so I take this list and child class. Let's take a folder, DAL, means data access layer. And here, parent, DAL, say, parent, Let's create a save method. SQL transaction. Transaction null SQL command return parent using SQL connection. New 
SQL connection. View. Server Explorer. Let's add our database here. Test. Okay. Right click on it, go to properties. Here is my connection strings with all copy. Yes. Try. Yes. If Gets any ex exceptions, then transaction will roll back. Chives first vision is for insert parent. So insert parent SQL font dot open begin transaction after SQL open we have to start begin transaction. Now, uh, SP name parent, then SQL phone, and then user transaction. This SQL command will use this transaction. Common type, store procedure. Parameters. Add with value and ID parent dot ID same as I'm gonna pass second parameter which is parent name now use SQL Data reader for getting parents ID so that I can store that parent ID in child table. Execute reader. Reader read read ID reader ID and parent name reader. Here we must close the reader if we use a SQL transaction. Okay. 
if parent has id then child child means this one same as source procedure child name child name here parent id which is parent id same as i'm going to using reader child child name and parent id which is this one and after all this operation we have to commit our transaction here if all this operation goes well then transaction will commit otherwise it will give roll back let's take a simple view uh at order parent and index dot cs html in this view i take only one button and when i click on this button then it will hit save method of parent controller so we have to create a controller name parent so in controller folder controller controller index right click go to view this one and then i am creating a json result i'm going to take parent object here so parent new parent name say e1 and taking two childs under this parent so childs new child name c1 first child c1 second child c2 Save. Uh, 
pumpkins. This one. No. Very. You find any error, then after rollback, message will come in this exception object. Okay, done. Now go to app start controller name parent index. Let's run our project. We go to parent view. Well, transaction example, refresh. Okay. Let's click on save button. Now go to our database. your parent p1 saved and if i want to see child data then your parent id1 and it has two childs c1 and c2 so this operation goes well because it has no error now let's create an error i gonna write a condition in child's sp here This is the condition. If it finds any duplicate child name, then it will roll back this message. Child with this name already exists. Try another one. So let's see. Here, here I'm gonna insert another parent. Say E2. And first child name C3 because I already have C1 and C2 child in our database and I'm gonna take a child with name C2 because let's see our SQL transaction is working properly or not. Run. Go to parent DAL. Here I'm gonna take a debugger here and in this rollback method. Now click on set button. In parent object, parent name is P2 and has two child. First child is C3 and second one is C2. Continue. Look. Debugger, here's some catch. If I want to see the error, let's focus on EX. Here is the message. Child with this name already exists. Try another one. Continue. Now go to database. And if I refresh this parent table, then we can see our new parent, whose name was P2, is not saved here. Same as in child table, no new child is inserted. From this example, we can see that if it finds any error, then SQL transaction stops all kind of operation over database. Now open our code, go to parent, go. now run our project. 
click on save button the debugger parent name e2 has two childs one is c3 another one is c4 let's see if there's exceptions or not continue okay now go to database execute new parent is stored with which is p2 and two child is stored with parent id2 hope you understand why we need to use sql transaction now it is .net. thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you like this tutorial hope you will find more useful tutorial on programming in this channel thank you